guys, welcome to Yonder, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. This LP is going to be like a broken up LP. Basically, it will be happening in between series and what I'm feeling, I don't know, snarky. We're going to start a new game here today. And um, basically, um, I guess this is close enough to my, my, car my, my actual skin color. Uh, I have green eyes, but you can make them any color you want. Um, you can change your body shape to be, what do you want to start, like, what, here? Okay. Uh, body size, you can do whatever. Um, and hair color, of course. We'll be able to change our hair color pretty, pretty often, actually. And, uh, Yonder's fun. It's a cute little game. Um, no enemies or anything. It's an exploratory adventure game. Our dearest child, it broke our hearts when we sent you away, but it was the only way to keep you safe from the darkness that poisoned our land. When the day comes that you seek the truth, trust in the celestial compass to guide you. It will lead you far across the sea, into darkness and into light, but it will always lead you home. Home to Jamia. That's how I'm pronouncing that, by the way. Alright, we start out with some pirate music, because there's some sailing music. Reminds me of pirates. I don't play a lot of sailing games. Honestly. I guess we're sailing across the sea. And is that that's me. What am I holding? Well that's the compass. I'll just spoil it for you. That is the compass. Alright, so we immediately take control here. Let's talk to Jib here. Oh, this is amazing. I thought Jimmy was. Just a made-up tale. I'm glad I came up from the kitchen to see this. I guess we're heading over there. Let's talk to Luck. Mm. Looks like your compass is pointing into that bank of fog. It's pretty thick. I'd best get up to the bell. Mm. Got this dude huh. here. So the legend is true. There really is an island kingdom. I wonder if we'll see any strange new creatures. This is Pack. And lastly, we have uh -oh. Captain Pullen. If the compass of yours is right, to me it should be just behind that bank of fog. Are you ready to finally see the island? Uh, yeah. Alright, so, um, things are gonna actually happen around us. Let's talk to people. Better shorten sail. It's getting a bit rough. Oh. I can't see any birds in the sky. That's not a good sign. Basically, uh, this is all... It's gonna happen on its own. Oh. I hate this bad weather. Happy place, happy place, happy place! And... One more here. Mm. Hold on, baby. You don't want to get thrown overboard like SJ do. Okay, so basically... to get out of it. As I thought, a celestial compass. Use it whenever you are lost. It will guide you truly, but for now your path is blocked. My family can help you, but they themselves are lost. Find them, and they will lead you home. Now, Sprite Seer, awaken. Your journey has only begun. If you're confused, don't worry about it. Things will become clear uh, eventually. Alright, first things first, you cannot swim. So don't go jumping into deep water. Short, uh, shallow water is fine, but deep water is not. There's not much we can do here for right now. Anything sparkly, things you can pick up. We found a stone. We're gonna need a ton of stone, so don't feel bad about collecting stuff. Now, here you can see there's like a blue sparkle around that. Let's go over to it. All right, Lumi. Ooh, a human. It's been a long time since I've talked to a human. All of these people who could talk to me have gone away. Please take me with you. I don't want to be alone anymore. All right, so uh, we can't do that yet. Never mind. I was gonna say we actually found uh, an entrance into our book, but we can't actually activate it. Uh, I got a mushroom there. It's a food item. Um, we'll talk a little bit about food items here in a second. Grab this rock, and let's go up to this purple. Oh. Whatever. The way out is just past the murk. Yeah. It's bad stuff for you humans, though. I'll try to get rid of it, but I am not sure if I can do it all alone. 
Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a. I actually don't know if Lumia is a he or she. It's an it. It's a sprite. <laughs> Phew, that was hard. I wish I had my brothers and sisters to help me. <laughs> if we work together, I think we can find them. All right, let's get out of here. And we exit into Jamia. And here we are. This is all scripted, so just a heads up. I can't do anything at the moment. All right. Now I should be able to access. Oh! Ooh, there's a village over there. Let's go check it out. You really aren't looking the best. I bet we can find some help there. Remember, if we get lost, you can use your celestial compass. Oh, R. <laughs> it's useful to it's useful to map out your travels too. Anyway, let's head over the, to the village. Okay, so first of all, if you click on M, uh, here is the map. You can kind of see the edges of it. Um, as I hover over here, you can see the regions. There's two regions: Hearthwind Vale that we've uh, we're close to, and the grasslands. Um, over on the left, we'll talk more a little bit about this later, but the top one is muck, the second one is farm, the third one is sprite, the little exclamation point is quests, and the bottom one is trees. And we can't really do anything with that right now. Here's our backpack, a limited number of slots. Our character here, as you can see, we are looking really beat up. Uh, key items, when we get key items, stuff we can craft. There are several the crafting groups. Uh, wayfarer, chef, carpenter, constructor, tinker, brewer, tailor, and then master stuff that we won't get for a long time. Uh, here's our collections. We found Lumi, and this is Lumi here. Lumi is a young and gentle sprite that just needs a bit of encouragement. Oh, How cute. And then um, a list of our quests. So we're going to Fairmount right now. So we're gonna go ahead and just glide down. There's no fall damage, there's no health in this game, so don't worry about it. Let's collect this flower right here. We're gonna need these. <laughs> uh, each set, and here's some sticks. We're gonna want these, and um, this as well. What, what strange blue glow? Um, Really see a strange blue glow over here. Okay, whatever. Oh, uh, we can craft now. We've collected enough stuff to craft. If you go in here uh, to the crafting section, you can see it, you can kind of see what which ones you can craft by the color of their background. So we could craft water, for example, or twine. Um, we don't really want to do that right yet, but we're gonna go talk to this guy first. Ooh. Hello, so you're the new traveler who washed ashore earlier, eh? Well, no wonder. It, you look a little wimpy to me. Ooh. It's important to be strong and healthy. You have to build muscles like... Or you have to have big muscles like me to cut fodder all day. Mm. Here, take this sickle and show me what you've got. Cut the long grass and bring me ten fodder. Mm. Pop these details into your journal in case you forget. Okay, so yeah, now we can you can use the wheel. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, and you equip the sickle. You can... Do this, and the fodder will grow. You can use F, or you can actually like, click either one. And then once you have enough, he'll get a um, exclamation point over his head. Now I didn't see. We did not collect any seeds. Are we seriously didn't collect any seeds from any of that? Okay, well we'll get there. Oh. That long grass didn't stand a chance. You're not as wimpy as I thought. Mm. Like I said, having big muscles is important, but it's important to have a big brain like me too. Oh. That way you can get the other people to cut your fodder for you. Uh. Thanks. And we completed grass needs cutting. There's no experience or anything, but if we go into, oh no, not this, <laughs> I'm sorry, map, uh, you can see that we've completed 7% of the quests here in this area now. Um, completing quests improves the happiness of that region. I don't see any grass over here. That's what I was looking for. We're gonna want a ton of stone. Um, the crafting in this game kind of makes me mad. <laughs> there are certain things that are really easy to craft, and there are certain things which I get mad at because of the way that they uh, created it. I will talk about that later when we get some other stuff. We found Fairmont. All right, so let's talk to this old man right here. 
Ooh. Hello, traveler. You look like you've been through some hard times. Oh. Please, come inside. I can offer you some warm food and a soft bed. All right, the townsfolk warmly welcome you. Once your belly is full and your worries are eased, your head hits the soft pillow and you drift to sleep. <laughs> there, that much, that's much better. You look ready to face the world again. Just one more thing before you go. Ever since that terrible accident years ago, Merc has been popping up all over the place, making life difficult. But the people here are friendly and we love to share what we know. Mm. Ask around and you'll soon have all the skills you need to make your way in this world. All right, and we have some new clothes here. So when you sleep, he gives you, so these were what you were wearing and he gives us some traveler slacks. A basic tunic to replace our tattered coat, um, and we have a canvas backpack. And oh, this is the hair we're wearing, by the way. So we look put together. We have some clothes that we can now sell, actually. <laughs> so let's go talk to this guy. Mm. That storm that capsized your boat, it also destroyed the East Docks. Now that's a big problem for mm. us. This is a trade guild, you see. Without the East Docks bringing in goods, we're not in any position to help you out. Mm. Let's see here. Take this mallet and gather some stone from Marina. Eight stone should probably be plenty to prop the east docks back up. Mm. You'll find stone around the grasslands and near cliffs. Once you've got enough, deliver them back to Marina on the beach. We're going to want to do that first, honestly. Uh, real quick here. Let's stop here at the stores. This is what I want. How much, how much fodder do we have? We have 18 fodder. Okay. Um, I'm going to be buying these meadow bell seeds. They are tree seeds. And I'm going to sell 15 fodder. So the price is right here. This costs one. And here you can see how much it costs to buy them. Uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. So let's go ahead and trade that up. And uh, shop stock depends just kind of like on where you are. Um, and just happens to be what, you know, depends on what they're carrying. Let's talk to some more people here. Yeah. Oh, hi. I heard there was a new face in town. So you want to learn the ways of a, tr of a trader, huh? Yeah. Well, it's not all just swapping stuff for other things, you know. A trader has to get creative, too. Mm. Here, go grab me vine and three stick, and I'll share a trade secret with you. We already have those, so let's uh. just finish this up. All right, so those things I got you to grab aren't actually for me. They're for you. Ah. As well as making trade deals, you can craft items to trade. Crafted items generally trade for a higher price, which is nice. E. Here's a recipe to craft a bundle of sticks with those items you grabbed. Just remember, you need a recipe and the correct items to craft. So we uh, completed making a bundle. So yeah, we can now craft a bundle of sticks, um, which is for a variety of different things. Nothing that I really care about. Uh, let's talk to this old lady here. Huh? I hear you're in need of a roof over your head. Well, you're in luck. The old farm in the south field was abandoned when the murk appeared. If you can clear the murk, you're welcome to the farm. I'd love to see the old place patched up and running again. Take this axe and gather some materials to fix the place up. Sixteen wood and five sticks should be plenty. The farm is in the south fields through the big tunnel. You can't miss it. We will get there later. <laughs> um, additionally, there's going to be an, a lady over here. Uh, I'm not going to talk to her. But we're gonna, we'll, we'll do that later. Okay, another thing here. There is a cat. Let me just see if I can, we can see it now. It's meowing and it's rolling over and it's waving its feet. Collect them. I don't know if you heard that purring. Um, if you collect uh, cats, it makes the quest easier later. Just trust me on this one. They're a key item so they don't take up any slots in your inventory. Okay, so there's some Merc over there. We're gonna head to the docks. So let's see here. We've got, um, get the East Docks open again. We're doing that. I would highly suggest collecting uh, stone and wood whenever you can. Don't go around chopping down trees um, for a variety of different reasons, specifically that planting trees is good for regions and it's not so fun to have to like constantly replace trees. Uh, now that we have the mallet, we can also destroy crates. And crates will often have stuff in them. And don't worry too much because they respawn uh, pretty regularly. And every time you load the grain back up, uh, there will be new, um, like everything will be back to where it was, <laughs> which is kind of useful. Like everything will have respawned. All right, let's head out here. Now, first of all, uh, another thing you can note here is we actually have the seeds uh, in our inventory. We're gonna want to use those. And here's a chest. Here's our first chest right outside the docks. Let's open this up. We got some black rimmed glasses. Let's go ahead and equip those. 
And now I look ridiculous. And it's pretty close to what I look like, actually. I do wear glasses, if you haven't seen them in my streams. Huh. And this goes here, and that goes... Ah, hello there! <laughs> Whoa, you've got everything I need to finish up. Sure beats me trying to piece it back together with driftwood and crab shells. Uh. It'll be done in a jiffy, and trade will start coming through to a fair amount once again. Or a fair amount. It's not a fair amount. There's no you in that. Alright, so... The docks are back up. And there's a blue sparkly over there. Let's see if I can get the blue sparkly without having too much trouble this time. It's easier to go to this side. And... Badoo! There we go. Being stuck in there was a real drag. Anyway, let's shove off and get me stowed in that backpack of yours. Alright, so we discovered the uh, lock. Oh gosh, come on. There we go. We found... Lock. Lock is a very practical and organized sprite who loves all things nautical. How cute. Now that this is here, you can go trade with these guys. They carry a variety of different things. Um water, bits and bobs, clay. All of these things are pretty important um, to like crafting different stuff. Let's see here. Yeah, these got a lot of good stuff too. A um, couple things are like the hardest to find. Clay pots. I'm not gonna buy any clay pots right now, but they are a pain to find. Let me tell you. Like I said, you can go in shallow water, but if you go into deep water, oh, you, you, really, you just, they teleport you back out, so. I'm gonna go over here. Let's see over here. Let's go across here. Um, there's secrets abound in this game, and uh, we're gonna want to explore quite a bit. I don't think I've ever actually been out here, even in the other game that I was playing. Uh, the jumping mechanics in this game are not difficult, but they can be a little bit problematic occasionally. So just be cautious. <laughs> There's a chest up here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we got orange shampoo. Um, it's hair dye. I don't hear any cats, at least. Like I said, there are so, so many secrets. Um, what I might do, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you guys the colors. And, uh, until I find my favorite ones. Uh, orange shampoo. Oh, God, that's not orange, that's yellow. I'm now a blonde. Alright. No problems with that. Surprises me, but no problems with that. Alright, let's grab these. We're gonna wanna chop down trees, um, to get what we need to repair the farm. I believe there's a chest in this cave, but it's a pain to get to. Alright, got planks. Alright, let's talk to the captain. Ooh. Hey, I heard you wandered into Fairmont. Oh. I'm glad to see you're doing well, considering. Mm. I wanted to come say hello, but Marina has been busy, busy gathering materials to fix the docks. Mm. She said I owe her since it was my boat that wrecked it. Mm. Anyway, well, I am here helping Marina out. Could you go try to dig up information on the rest of the crew? All right, so we're gonna need to go find the, the rest of the crew. Um, what are we missing? Oh, we're repairing the farm. Right, we're gonna want to do that. Let's go ahead and gather rocks. So, oh, um, so if you see these mounds here, you can plant trees. And yeah, there's 41 in the grassland that we need to plant. So we're gonna want to to do that. All right, I got some herb seeds. You can't plant, as odd as it sounds, you can't plant plants in those. You can only plant trees. Now, okay, the grass is not growing back here. The grassland is full of grass, at least. Um, I want to get as much seed as I can as we're walking around, um, because there's so many areas to plant trees that we're gonna want. It'll just make it easier. <laughs> Alright, I see both grass and a location to plant over here, so let's go ahead and do this. And there is a quest um, later in the game to actually get to, I think, 95% happiness in the regions. So we're... We, just make it easier on yourself to do... if you're trying to be completely anyway. To do this 
and like find seeds and stuff as you're going. Uh, getting fodder isn't necessarily the worst thing either, especially early in the game. Um, it really doesn't use like like you're not really going to use it for a lot of stuff, but it's great for selling, um, especially if you're looking for things like you know like clay and whatever. Uh, I got some red shampoo. I think that's going to change my hair color back. Oh, it's, it's much more red than it was. Bundle of sticks. Found some iron ore. We'll get to ore eventually. Uh, one of the things about stone is there's bridges that we'll have to build later, and I don't know how many each of the like stone that the bridges use, but it's a lot. Like, a ton ton. So we're gonna wanna... Oh, let's use the mystery seeds. So the mystery seeds are some sort of tree seed that we just don't know what it is. But we're gonna want to use them because we don't have enough of the other seeds. And honestly, they, they're really pretty trees. So, like, usually. We got an old kingdom coin there. Don't know what that is for yet. Don't know what the old kingdom is. We found a groffel. That's a groffel, by the way. We've unlocked a new collection. We got a groffel. They are ridiculously cute. A large and gentle grassland herd animal. Its coat is surprisingly soft and fluffy. Uh, as of right now, if we try and get near them, they'll, they'll run away from us. They don't want our attention. But eventually we will be able to adopt them. So... Alright, let's go... Where are we going? Let's go this way. Oh, there's some grass. This will be good. We need more seeds. We need a lot. So many more seeds, you guys. You don't... You, you may not fully understand how many seeds we're gonna need. Just like how much stone we're gonna need. We're gonna need a ton of stone. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab these. Um, that little spot over there... Just like wood, we're gonna need a ton of wood too. Um, this right here, we need a pickaxe for. We do not currently have a pickaxe, but we'll we'll get there eventually. Okay, there's a couple of murk areas over here. Uh, let's go over to this giant rock first. There's a little bridge here. I figured there might be, but no. All right, we've got a little uh, outcropping over there, so let's go ahead and. Uh, Oh, I see. Oh, here we go. We've got these little spots, too. This is where you gather clay. You're gonna want clay as well. Oh, we discovered the grass fox. That's that little spot right there. The grass fox is a gentle and a small and agile grassland animal. Very shy, but loves to play. Aren't they cute? There's like half a dozen different color visions of those guys. We got another chest here. What do we get out of this one? No, I got a rock. We got ash shampoo. Go ahead and use it. It's a, uh, it's gray. I'm now an old lady. Great. Uh, you can make dye, and I don't think they sell for very much, so I don't really care to like sell them. <laughs> but yeah, you can make them later when we've unlocked stuff. <laughs> Get the seed, thank you. And yeah, this grass will definitely grow back. I think it grows back every day, actually. So you'll have plenty of fodder, which is like I said, it's not a bad thing to grab early in the game if you're, you know, want to do some trading. Uh, clay, I'm going to be grabbing a lot of, just like rocks, you need a ton of it. I found out the hard way for a lot of this stuff, because some of the stuff I didn't do until much later in the game, I discovered gold lake, and uh, then I had to do a lot of like traveling and finding and stuff. It's just easier to get started now. <laughs> Did you hear? Up in Wimble Whip, they are very interested in lumber items. So people will tell you where to go sell your stuff. Oh. Ahoy! Arr, I've been away from the open seas for far too long. I don't know what the heck oh. happened to my breeding skills there. I have a hankering for a knucklefish. You give me one of those beauties and I'll give you something good. Mm. They live in the salt water. Here, take my old fishing pole and head to the beach to see if you can land one. Uh. I guess you could always find someone to trade. Uh, you won too. Either way, get me a level, lovely knucklefish. Um, I hate fishing in this game. <laughs> just hate fishing in this game. 
All right, I don't think there's any trees in town here, but let's head up here. All right, so we see a little uh, blue sparkle here. Oh, I have an answer now. I don't care about that. And you can see when we go up to water now, there'll be like a little fishing icon. We are going. We are not going to be fishing this time. I... No, I hate fishing. All right, here's a quest. What's this say? This shrine is in disrepair and can be cleaned up. The grassland shrine. We need stone, stick, and these flowers. We have enough, so let's go ahead and clean it up. Huh. Ah, no! Huh. It took me ages to get this shrine just right, and then you come along and clean it back up. <laughs> oh, what a messy backpack you have. I guess you're not so bad. We alter travel together. We found, a, we found another sprite. Um, The puns in this game, by the way, get a little painful. Kirio is a sprite who loves clutter and disorganization. He looks like a little demon, doesn't he? I guess the sprites aren't necessarily good people. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get some more seeds here. And plant some more trees, it looks like. We've got, like, nine regions or something to explore, so... Just, just a heads up. Um, can you? There you go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop down that seed there. Let's go ahead and destroy these. Anything? Anything? I'm stuck on a box. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. That was good. Got some coal there. You need coal, so I mean, collect it. You need sticks. Uh, sticks aren't that hard to find though, so not gonna worry about those too much. You cannot use items um, just willy-nilly, by the way, so... I mean, good, good luck. It's not like you can use mallets on people and stuff. It will tell you when you can use stuff. This is a big boulder. <laughs> it's not anything we can uh, break down. Um, Let's go to... What do we got here? Repair the farm. Let's head... Uh, we don't have enough, like, wood or sticks or anything for this yet, but let's head down there anyway. Yeah, Scrapple's move. I guess that's all that really needs to be said here. Um, Alright, we've got some Merc here. So let's actually go up to this. If you go up to Merc, it'll say, Clear the milk, Merc. To purify the Merc, you must use sprites you have found. We need three, or I'm sorry, we need six sprites to clear this one. Uh, we only have three, so there are limitations and stuff that you have to... Oh my gosh, these trees are just loud. Very loud trees. So you're going to have to clear those out. Ah, and we have our first cave here. If you find spider webs like this, use... I think it's inside. Let's go inside. Use your sickle, and you'll be able to head on inside. Now, I hear a cat somewhere in here. First of all, let's get this We found a floppy beanie. Some mushrooms. Redberry seed, which we can't use right this second. So many cats, you guys. The cat must be outside. I am so confused. Where is that stupid cat? And um, the game makers, whoever these level designers were, uh, decided that their best bet was to put cats of a specific color in specific areas. So, oh my gosh, this is gonna drive me crazy. So what you'll sometimes have is like green cats hiding in green areas. Okay, it's definitely out here somewhere. Possibly up there. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's definitely up top. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's head around here. I think we can get up there this way. Is he up here? Is he up? Is he up here? Somewhere? I don't know how I feel about any of this. Ah, well, while we're up here, we actually have something else we can collect. We discovered a constellation. Okay, I heard the cat. There he is! I think it's all happy when we collect him. Um, new collection here is Constellations, an explorer ever wandering the skies. It said that he guides lots of sailors home. So that's, that's cool. <laughs> Alright. And some tree stuff up here. Doesn't look like there's anything, so let's head on down. I see some trees. See stuff here. Now, one of the main reasons why I'm planting these trees as we go is they are obnoxiously hard to find. Alright, so here is the farm. Oh, we need flowers, by the way. And we're gonna need sticks and stuff too. Let me show you how to chop down a tree. Go ahead and chop this one down. Okay, so the tree vanishes. And when you chop down the trunk, you also get wood from it. And it actually unlocks a place to plant a tree. So we'll want to we'll want to do that. Alright, let's go ahead and clear this bird. We need two sprites, and we have three, so we can clear it. Wow, really good. Well, it's foggy. As it's raining. We've unlocked this location, and um, let's go ahead. We're gonna need to chop down. You can also buy wood, which might be easier, I don't want to see, than chopping down trees. And we will be planting trees on our farm, so there we go. Let's go ahead and talk to Bushel over here. Rain, as far as I know, doesn't do anything except for be very annoying. Okay, we talked to this new dude. Oh, hey there, I'm Bushel. Minnie sent me to help you out. I'm a dad hand at repairs, and I know a thing or two about running a farm. Now, you've cleared the murk. Let's roll up our sleeves and patch this place up. Alright, so repair the farm. Ta da! We have. Well, I, I know you guys can't really see it, but our farm is all done here. So if you talk to Bushel again, mm. congratulations, you have your very own farm. There are a lot of things to do with them. Ah. Here, I'll give you some farm items. Let's get you started by placing a large animal pen. Ah. Once you've crafted a large animal pen, use the big book on your farm and place the pen wherever you like. Um, we're not going to worry about that for right now, but we're going to do some other stuff before we get, get going. So first of all, let's go ahead and collect... Ah. Hey, kid! I had a perfectly good thing going here, and you came around along and ruined it. <laughs> well, I guess there's no going back to that pink sky now, so let's go get a move on, youngster. My feelings, they hurt because of these puns. Uh, we unlocked Grumble. Grumble is a grump with a capital G. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Okay, so, if you have farm items like we do, if you go over to this big book, You'll be able to go in here, and if you press enter, you can build. And we have a couple things that I want to plop down. First of all, we have a tree plot. Um, I'm going to put it over here. There we go. And we're going to place it right here. And then we're going to also place down the garden plot. Okay, there we go. Nope. There we go. There we go. And uh, then you can escape out of here. So... We have some seeds we can plant. So first of all, we'll plant the herb seeds we have. We'll plant the red berry and the potato seeds that we have. And we're also going to plant two trees in here. And um, they will grow over time, and then we'll have to come back and collect them. If we hire like a bushel to be a farm hand, we will be able to like she'll collect or he'll collect everything for us, so we won't have to return. All right, so that is the large animal pen. We're gonna plop down the water trough. Um, it doesn't really matter how you 
plop them, in all honesty, but I'm just making it look pretty. Um, like this. Alright. So this way, we'll be able to um, have animals. So let's go ahead and finish this quest up. Huh. Well done. Now that you've placed a large animal pen, you can begin to adopt a large animals. Ah. When you're ready, come see me again and I'll teach you how to do that. Let's go ah. ahead and let's get the quest. Brothels are the best. They're those big brown grazing animals you'll find in the fields near here. Ah. Besides being big and fluffy, if domesticated, they'll produce brothel milk for us. Uh -huh. You can befriend animals by feeding them their favorite food. Feed a brothel psyllium seed and it will happily follow you for a time. Ah. Here, I'll show you how to make psyllium seed and you can go out there and bring us back a big fluffy brothel. So now we can make psyllium seeds here, and we want to do that eventually. <laughs> Just not right this second, because I don't want to. <laughs> I do want to collect some stuff and get some more quests started. Now here's a quest. Oh, here's a tree to place, and here's this. It's a sign. It says, a good spot for a suspension bridge. The Grasslands Wooden Bridge, we need 15 wood to build that here. So we're going to want to come back for that eventually. All right. Let's head this way for now. Like sleeping grapples, by the way. And yeah, they, they, they will wake up and they'll panic if you get near them. If you have the thing that they like, they will not panic and run away. And they'll just stand there and stare at you. <laughs> Which, that's fine. Whatever. Alright, so there's a quest here, and you're going to notice that it's not actually here. Um, we need to go underground, actually, to get that one. Which we will do... maybe today. I don't know. So. Alright, let's go up here real quick. I hear a cat. We'll find that cat in a second. I do not have the cat locations memorized. So we've got an item here. It's a, this right here. It's the remains of a worn diary. The murk is just too thick. We've had it to close the farm. Although we're retiring, I hope one day it'll open again. Yeah, the murk. I don't entirely know what the murk is, but uh, it's bad. And it's disastrous. Okay, apparently the cat's not over here. Let's head out onto this little uh, up upcropping over here real quick here. Upcropping, upcropping. Spot. I don't see any. I don't have the trees where the trees go memorized either. I'm listening for the cat. That's the fox making that weird noise. There he is. You can kind of see him up here. Let's see if we can jump up. Oh my gosh. Go forward. Thank you. The, um, there we go. Isn't he cute? Always oh, washing his face. He's mine. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can get any seeds from this. I think the grass fox is like fodder, I believe. So, which is why they're not running from us. Got two spots here for tree seeds. Um, let's go chop this down. I think there's is that one not filled yet. Is that one? I would highly suggest filling them as you find them, which is why I'm looking for seeds because there's just so many. If 41, I think, is the most in one particular region, but you also have like nine regions, so I'd take that. As you go. Where is it? There it is. So find seeds where you can, uh, at least until you can buy them a little bit more regularly, which we probably will be. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? We found more red shampoo, it looks like. I, I'm going back to being a redhead. Oh, we got a new beanie. Wait, no, nope, nope. We got a new beanie. Let's plop where, where's the, there it is. We look absolutely ridiculous. There's a ton of clothing items, and um, we're going to want to collect some of them at least. All right. Uh, where are we going? What are we doing? Looks like there's another quest up here. Let's take a look at our, our actual quest. We're friend to Grawful. Um, we need to head back to Fairmont. Fairmont. 
Air box? There we go. <laughs> a little bit. And then we're gonna want to do some exploring because there's plenty of places that we're gonna want to go. Looks like we got some stuff over here we haven't seen yet. So many places to go, so many things to see. And you're not gonna be able to, at least as far as I know, you're not gonna be able to complete every area like before going on to the next one. And there's no reason that you really should do any of that. Not really. All right, let's talk to. Oh gosh, I know this quest. Let's talk to this lady here. Hmm. Have you seen my grapples? There's Princess Sparkle, Fluffy Kins, and Mr. Peabody. Hmm. They are such sneaky little groffies. We were all ready for our morning dress up morning or er, daily dress up morning tea, and they vanished. <laughs> I just know you'll help. Fluffy Kins will be the most scared. You'll find a trail of bows leading right to her. Um. Yeah. Fluffy Kins. Let's see what's around this corner, shall we? First of all, we got a cave here, so let's meander inside here. Here, a cat. Kitty is behind here, actually. I think for the quest, you need to collect a minimum of 55 cats. So, uh, take that as you will. Alright, can we clear this? No, we need six sprites to clear that, so we can't clear that one yet. Alright, let's get this stick, and let's get this stone. And trust me, um, of anything that you really need to collect, if you can, it's the stone. It really is. Oh, we got another place here for some seeds. Go ahead and plop that down. There's more uh, up there, as I can see from here. So let's go ahead and run across. I don't see a lot of grass in this area, though. In, actual, in actuality, we should probably return to uh, Fairmont. You can also, if you don't want to go into the menu, you can click R and you can click delete to actually see the different quests um, if you want to do that. What does this say? Oh, watch the sun over hills it creeps. At sunrise we wake, at sunset we sleep. And... Ah. Let's see here. First of all, let's put this on here. We have a little, um, I don't know what you want to call it, test here. So let's see if we can figure out this one. Trying to remember which, am I supposed to look out over? Am I supposed to look up? I don't remember. Hmm. I'm trying to remember which way these guys are supposed to look. I hear a cat. <laughs> Speaking of which way are these guys supposed to look. Um. Up. Oh. Ah, there we go. Right. Ah, you woke me. Well, you shouldn't give up on your dreams, so I'm going to take a little nap in your backpack. <laughs> Um, so this guy is looking that way, and this guy is looking this way, which I think it's supposed to be, like, sleeping. Where is the cat? Right there. Look at that cat. We found a mountain mogi, and we are in the Hearthwind Vale right now, just in case you're wondering. We actually crossed over to a different region. Um, you can see now that we've completed stuff, we've actually got some check marks off. So we actually have uh, 1.5 times more animal sightings here, as well as a harvest bonus. And down here, we don't currently have that. So um, yeah, keep that in mind that there's um, important stuff that changes as you improve upon different locations. All right, so let's head uh, back to Fairmont. We, we'll be going to different locations eventually, so don't worry about it. One of the main reasons why I'm not doing that right now is because I don't want to. So there. <laughs> Alright, let's head through. Um, one thing to note about our farm is it's currently sad. And our cleanliness is fine, but we haven't produced anything. And uh, we don't have any animals, so we're going to want to do that. That, thank you. 
What do we got down here? Oh, this is just a little, um, not really cave per se, but it's a little way to get through. It's going to be important to memorize some of these places because it's going to make it easier to get around. And some of the stuff is kind of uh, hidden in a way. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab that stick. All right, so let's talk to uh, Master Low again here since we've gotten help. Ah. Well done. I hope you're feeling a bit more subtle now. Hmm. Come in and have a sleep. Tomorrow you should explore more of Jamia. Maybe you'll even find word of your missing shipmates. We meet again, Sprites here. I am happy to see you have found some of my family. They and your celestial compass can guide you to the origin. The origin of the Merc, and perhaps your origin as well. Okay, so it's morning. Uh, first of all, we've decided to seek help. Yay. Um... Yeah, the whole point of this game, I guess if you could call it a point of the game, is to figure out who you are and uh, why your parents sent you away. Uh, who is this? Come back here. Huh? I want to become a comedian. They can make a person smile and laugh just by using words. <gasps> but I'm missing that one special joke, the one that'll make everyone laugh. My masterpiece, my epic joke. <laughs> Well, I know I won't find it standing around chatting all day. Oh? I need to get out into the world and seek out my epic joke. Uh, I hope we'll run into each other again. Hi! See you! You will find her, and I don't actually know what sh what happens if you talk to her enough. Other than the fact that she's going to annoy you with her jokes. And they are bad. Bad puns. Okay, let's head over here. Real quick. And let's see what they've got. Do you have... Um, more seeds. Yes. Yeah, so they replace their seeds over time. So we're gonna want, or their stock over time, so we're gonna want to buy those. Uh, anything else that they have that I need? No. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. I don't think any of these guys have wood. No, no they don't. I think they replace their stock over time. I might be wrong on that one. It would be worth thinking about. Um... Okay, so we've got Dapplewood Forest up there and Sunderwind Hill or Wilds up there. Uh, so we've got a couple new regions that we could go see if we want. Um, I think the best thing to probably do right now is to probably go after the quest that we're currently attached to. There's a cat right here. Let's take him home. Yeah, see the Graffle just ran away from us. Didn't hear him meow, but saw him anyway. So let's go ahead and head on this way and see what we can find. Um, I you know, and also one of the things that I do like about this game is it's oh look at all these trees we haven't found. It's really not that. This is lots of exploring. It's a lot of fun. Carrie, oh. I'm Carrie, the expertiest of all the animal experts in Jamia. Uh -huh. I travel around learning as much as I can about animals. <laughs> Maybe you'll see me around in your travels. Yeah? If you do, say hi and I'll be happy to share what I've discovered. So, um, you can talk to her and sometimes she will share information about the animals. Sometimes she'll, she'll tell you what they like, but like nine times out of 10, she's just like, a herd of graffle is called a, I don't know, film like, cause I don't know what it's called. Um, which is fine, but holy crap, do I need more information than that, Carrie. Be more useful. I'm just collecting a few things before we head out here. Oh, they're squeaking. Yeah, the grass foxes make adorable squeaking noises. I don't know what they give you if you have them on the farm. Alright, let's go ahead and clear out this. Oh, at least I got one seed out of that. Really? Come on, game. I'm guessing it's a like a, a roll for how many and what you get out of these. Like, obviously you're gonna get fodder, but I don't know if it's like, will you get seeds, random roll, 10%? I don't know. I may have been playing a lot of Dungeons & Dragons, so we're thinking about it. Anyway, we've got some moon silk flowers. We're gonna want to collect flowers. Um... You're gonna want to have one of each of the five. I know that sounds weird, but trust me on this one. At least. <laughs> and lots and lots of stone. I know I've said that, but I'm not even joking about this. 
All right, we're gonna head this way. And we're gonna end in a moment here because we've been playing for about an hour. I beat this game um, in about an hour, just like completing quite a bit of the quests, but not completing the full game, like getting everything to 100%. I haven't done that, but about 10 hours is about how much it took for me to get um, through this. All right, so we found we have three and we have five, so we can open this up. Hooray! And the reason I wanted to get this open anyway is because we defeat this. <laughs> Goodbye, chest, you've been defeated. Or I guess that was a whatever. There's this guy, so let's go talk to this guy. Mm. It's been a pretty rough start for you, hasn't it, Solo? I don't have much to offer. Please take my spare pickaxe. Mm -hmm. No payment required. Oh. No, really, I mean it. No payment required. Mm. It rocks and prosper. So, <laughs> rock on! We get a pickaxe here, so we can now go up to these shiny objects on the walls, and we'll get all sorts of ore and stuff. So we want, we want to do that's what I hold, that was the whole purpose of this, was to go get that. So I'm going to go ahead and end here. Um, we've done a pretty good job about getting quite a bit done in this little episode. Um, it's a fun little game, and uh, if you're interested in games like this, I would suggest you at least take a look at it. Um, let's see here. So in the grasslands, we're moving up quite a bit. We've planted 87% of the trees, and we've completed 53% of the quest, and we think we only have one sprite left somewhere in here. And our farm's at 25%, and we have 38% of the merc left? Or we, no, we've cleared 38% of the merc. And, um, yeah, so you can see we're going into Sunderwind, uh, whatever place, but Sunder, Sunder, Sunderwind Wilds up here. So I will see you guys next time, um, when we continue on this cute little adventure. My hat looks silly. Oh, and you can kind of see the, you can't really, it's raining. Never mind.